think, I think there are a couple of, and that's a good question, I think there are a couple of arguments that I think are fairly strong. First off, and I mentioned it before, in, in ab abolishing the Senate, What's the, um, the Senate? You, there would be certain elements within Canada that are, have fewer people and would feel that the, if the House of Commons was there only on its own with representation by population, it would be dominated by Ontario and there would be no counterbalance to that and regional representation would be then kind of an adjunct of that, Quebec making the argument of language and culture. But I think the West, some in the West would argue, perhaps less now with the scandals, but that we need to have a regional counterbalance to Ontario, and that could come in an upper chamber. Those would be, I think, two, there could be other arguments that I'm just not thinking of at the moment, but those would be two in terms of that counterbalance to regional representa or, uh, representation by population in the, in the House of Commons. Okay? Thank you very much. I have the easiest task tonight, and that is to, to say thank you. I'm Thomas Bledel, I'm the Associate Dean Research and Graduate Studies in the Faculty of Arts. And I would like to thank you, the Stapleford family, for creating and for supporting this extraordinary lecture series. I would like to thank you for coming here tonight and showing an interest in one of, sort of the vital institutions of, of, of democracy. And I think we are fortunate that we are in a place where we can discuss and resolve these kinds of questions of how we make political uh, decisions in, uh, in settings like these. Above all, I would like to, say, to thank Dr. Bernard. It's rare that we have the, the pleasure and the honor to listen to somebody who has sort of the intimate knowledge of somebody who has been involved over decades in these questions, but who is also um, the, the, the distance that a scholar can bring to uh, inquiries of that nature. So I would like to thank you for a triple E lecture. <laughs> waiting for you outside so we can continue uh, these discussions with some sustenance and some drink. Thank you very much. Good evening.